So one of the things that hold a lot of entrepreneurs back from investing in their business or making moves in their business that really move the needle is that they don't trust the finances will flow if they do. So one of the things that hold a lot of entrepreneurs back from investing in their business or making moves in their business that really move the needle is that they don't trust the finances will flow if they do. So this is a very lack mindset, right? This is a very um, limited mindset and it illustrates that you don't truly have faith or trust that what you're here to do is something that you're divinely guided to do. Because if you really believe that you were divinely guided to share your message and your gift with the world, how could you ever doubt that you would be supported in it? Think about this for a second. The number one thing that's keeping so many spiritual entrepreneurs from having a thriving business online is that they never take the steps to actually get started. They're afraid to put themselves out there. They're afraid to be seen. They're afraid to risk rejection. They're afraid to fail. They're afraid to look stupid. But most importantly, they're afraid that what if they try at their dream and then nothing comes of it? And then what? I mean, Think about how devastating that would be if you put 110% and you go all in on something. This is what keeps so many from investing in themselves like a business. You know, so many spiritual entrepreneurs say, I want to have a six figure business, but they don't make six figure moves and they don't think like a six figure business owner. They think like an employee or they think like a consumer. They don't think like um, an investor or an entrepreneur yet. And this holds them up. And the reason it holds them up is because they're still trapped in the conditioning that, 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 that they're not the creator of their own reality and that uh, there is a lack of trust and a lack of faith in the mission. You are the divine, a spark of the divine expressing itself physically. You have divine intelligence pulsing through you. You are receiving soul guidance. Many people don't realize that they're even receiving soul guidance. The majority of the planet does not know how to listen to their intuition. The majority of the planet is trapped in their thoughts and trapped in their conditioned behaviors and limited belief patterns. You are on some level very much aware of your intuitive guidance system and your soul, which is speaking to you. When you take action on your soul nudges with faith, unwavering action, and you make a decisive decision, even if it scares you, this is what I call sacred action, taking an intuitively guided action that scares the shit out of you, but you do it anyways because you know it's what you're being guided to do and you know it's your next step. And it's going to expand you. This is why it's a little fearful. This happens a lot on strategy sessions with me when, when women sign up because they face all of their fears. Right before they invest with me, they face any money mindset blocks. They, they face any fear of what if this doesn't work? They face the fear of um, what is going to be asked of me to step into my purpose fully. They have all of these fears coming up. And when they take the action, I tell them this is what's going to happen. And then it's exactly what happens. They're faced with this fear and they're witnessing their fear. And then they make the decision and they follow their intuitive guidance and they enroll in Sacred Leader Academy and guess what they immediately feel? They immediately feel a sense of ease and peace and empowerment because they instantly up-leveled their frequency because now their 
belief systems are starting to match their desires because now they're making decisions from that place. And so I just wanted to pop in and, and share this with you today that if you don't trust that the money's gonna flow, what that's really saying is, A, you have some money mindset uh, things to clear up. You have uh, some root chakra things to clear up. And B, there is a lack of trust in the guidance that you're receiving. There's a lack of faith. And in actuality, the trust and the faith can supersede any blocks that you have, you know, around money. Because even with your limited beliefs, even with your lack mindset, even with, you know, your fears, your soul is still guiding you through the path, no matter what, through the path of least resistance and the most pleasure, the most experience, the most amazing experience. Your soul is still guiding you. Your soul is still sending you the spiritual breadcrumbs, even if you never cleaned up anything else as far as mindset and limited beliefs and things like that go. Now, I'm not saying that lightening the load and shifting your limited beliefs and reframing those and getting them on board with your desires and your goals is obviously key if you want to accelerate your growth process. But even when you don't do that, you are still being guided. You are still being shown. You are still being led. The spiritual breadcrumbs are still there for you to follow. The path is still there waiting for you to take that first step. And so there's some beliefs that need to be reframed. And I would say probably the number one belief that needs to be reframed is the belief that you are 100% supported on your mission work, period, done, end of story. It's why you're here, part of why you're here. Obviously, you have your own ascension journey as your primary reason for being here, but if you're resonating with this and you are a mission-driven spiritual entrepreneur, then you know there is a calling within you to be of divine service to others, specifically as part of a catalyst for this uh, global awakening that's occurring right now. This seed of divine inspiration and this calling within you that's been planted that you incarnated with is not an accident you weren't given this or you signed up for this you, you didn't do it on accident it's not a coincidence that you're watching this video even excuse me and so there there is a level of trust and a level of faith that is required of you and yes, if you don't trust that the money's going to flow, you probably got to look at some of the reasons why you have that mindset. And it's likely there's a lot of stuff to clean up there as far as um, money mindset and lack of lack, lack mindset. But the number one thing is faith in your mission, it's faith in your soul's purpose and trust in what you are being led to do and what you are being guided to do. And the funny thing is, is that the money always shows up. The money's already there. You're just not available to it on a frequency level because your dream business and the abundance and the success and the money and everything that the impact and everything that's ready to flow to you is vibrating at this frequency and your thought patterns are vibrating at this frequency and in order for you to be able to receive what it is that you really desire and want to manifest and what you're feeling called to manifest you have to be willing and able to raise your frequency by thinking new thoughts and believing in your desires so much so that you're willing to take unwavering action towards your desires and take that decisive action what I call sacred action, the action that you take when you know you're intuitively guided to take it, even though it instills fear, because those are the actions. When you take those actions, 
Those are the ones that catapult you into a higher frequency and instantly up level your energetic vibration. Because now your beliefs and your actions are in alignment with your desire. And so I'll leave you with this takeaway. The number one takeaway I can say is, you know, if you're not moving forward because you don't trust that the financials are going to flow, there's an action that you should be taking right now. There's no guarantee of anything, right? That's designed that way because you're designed, it's designed right now for you to cultivate faith and courage on this journey. So you're going to be given just enough and revealed just enough to show you the way, to show you your next step, not the whole path, but your next step. And you're going to be required to step on that. And when you do step on that, then the next step will be revealed to you. And so if you're at this place where you're stalling because you don't trust, and whether it's finances or any, whether it's not even financially related, if it's a lack of trust, then the best thing you can do right now is take the action that scares you. Take the intuitively guided sacred action that scares you. Catapult your energy frequency. Look fear in the face and say F you and elevate your frequency to the next level so you can start to become resonant with the frequency of your desires. Because if you keep fumbling around in the lack mindset and the disbelief and the lack of trust and that's the vibration that you keep ping-ponging back and forth in, you will never be a vibrational match to your desires. So... This is why I always say your spiritual business is going to be one of your greatest ascension tools because it's going to require a complete up-leveling inside, from the inside out, for you to reach your goals and your desires. And so I hope this finds you well. If you resonated with this, please leave your questions or comments below this video. And if you are ready, truly, truly ready to step fully into your purpose and your mission and create a business online that is thriving, that supports you, uh, supports your mission, supports your lifestyle goals, calls in your soulmate clients, then I welcome you to take the Soul Line Success Masterclass. You can also find that link below this video wherever you're watching it. And if that video resonates with you, then you will have an opportunity to book a strategy session with me, which is a one hour deep dive session into your business. And yeah, just go see if it resonates and go from there. And I hope this video finds you well. Namaste.